Tina Hudson of Complete in Christ Ministries. Welcome to Thursday Talk with Tina, where we have been walking through the book of James. James chapter 3 has much to say about the tongue, which obviously was a problem in their church during that day and can be a problem in our lives as well. In verse 3 of chapter 3, James says, Indeed, we put bits in horses' mouths that they may obey us, and we turn their whole body. Look also at ships. Although they are so large and are driven by fierce winds, they are turned by a very small rudder wherever the pilot desires. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. So James is going to give us six pictures of the tongue out of everyday life that these people would have been able to relate to as well as people of our day. First, he compares it to uh, the bit that we put in a horse's mouth. Now, when I was a little girl, my dad had Shetland ponies, and they had a small saddle like this, but they also had this bit that we put in their mouths, and with this bit, we were able to control that horse. I remember one time uh, when I was younger, my dad uh, put me on one of his Shetland ponies, and the pony's name was Shorty. He was a short little dude, but he was also a rough little dude. And so my dad had put the bits in Shorty's mouth, and he gave me these reins and told me to hold on and to keep his head pulled up. Well, Shorty took advantage of me, and as soon as he started to buck, I let go of the rein, which, and my dad was yelling, pull his head up, pull his head up. That would have stopped him. That would have controlled him as the bit became tighter in his mouth. But I would just want it off of Shorty as bad as Shorty wanted me off, and so he ended up bucking me off, which caused me to be very fearful of horses. But yet this bit and the rudder on a ship are, even though they're very small parts, they are able to direct that um, this bit allows a person to be able to overcome that wild nature of the horse, to be able to control it, to be able to steer a ship through the storms. It also uh, must be under the control of a strong-handed pilot. Like, I needed to pull up on the rain in order to stop Shorty from bucking me off. A pilot must steer through the, the waves and the wind in order to be able to overcome the contrary forces there. It must be the strong hand of a pilot. And the same is true in our lives. Our tongues must be under the strong hand, the strong control of Jesus if we're going to be able to say things that are encouraging rather than hurtful, that bring honor and glory to God rather than to defame his name. So what are you doing with your tongue today? Is Are you allowing God to control that small part of your body like the bit controls the horse, like the rudder controls the ship? Are we allowing God to control that so that we can use our tongues to bring honor and glory to Him and to encourage others? I pray that today we will be conscious through the enablement of His Holy Spirit to be able to control our tongues and to be able to just be an encourager for those who need a, a word from God today. Thank you and may God bless.